Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about the break apart, and we've used that in previous videos um, by creating a solid background. But um, say you had an image that you unioned all together, and it's one solid image, but you wanted to break it apart and color it different things. So let's use our um, mom life for an example. And let's um, go to File, Import, because we saved it. We saved it under Mom Life. And you hit OK. And it's going to pull that image up. Okay. And um, I'm pretty sure we grouped these together, but let's union it just to give an example. Okay. So let's ungroup it by Control Shift G. And then let's Path Union. Okay. So it's all one image. You can't, when you change the color, you're, you're going to change the whole image that color but say we wanted to split it up and change the sunglasses one color the hair and the the mom life so what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to path and then break apart and it fills all the little holes in okay now we're going to drag a box by clicking the left mouse key and selecting the hair go up to path and exclusion and it'll get rid of that then we'll do the same to the glasses path exclusion and the same to the mom life path exclusion so now we can see that there's three different designs and we can color in three different colors. Okay. Now our other example that we've been using, um, let's do a basketball. So let's go to Google, type in basketball, flip art, black and white, and let's grab this thick and it's 320 but it'll do because it's a soft, just a black and white so let's uh, copy it right click copy image go to Inkscape right click paste okay this is an image so we're gonna have to trace it to make it a path so our Cricut will recognize it so go up to path trace bitmap make sure our multiple scans are clicked our colors it is one color, so we add one, which is two. Make sure the remove background is checked. Update. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm going to make it larger. Change that to black. Now let's go and fill in the holes. The closer you get, the more accurate the fill. And I'm going to show you something. If I get too close, it won't do anything. And if I get close and it's cutting off, it'll it'll leave you with this little thing. So um, all the image has to be present when you zoom in for it to be, or has to be visible for you to fill it. So I hit Control Z to undo that, and then. Click in there to fill. Let's see if that worked. That did. Okay. I know that I'm not changing any of these colors. They're all going to be orange. So I'm going to path union those. Okay. Now we did this before where we break apart the background so our image shows no gaps right so we're going to select the outline and we can always check to see if we're on the outline by just dragging and that's it and hitting Control z to put it back in its place so go up to path break apart and see it and it broke apart and it filled all the gaps back there oops so let's take that off 
and then select drag and select all of those and then hit path union and then we'll put our circle back on there and I like to make sure that it's center so I'm going to select both of those I'm going to hit my control shift A to bring up the align and distribute tab and center it on the vertical and the horizontal and there we go and let's group that object group and then you can size it to whichever size you need let's group that control G to group it and then you'd save that image by file save as and then uh, mom life basketball then make sure I'm hitting the tab to go down to save type and then my down arrow to drop down the Dropbox and plain SVG and enter and then enter again to save.